Hey, this is Kristen with Collision Hub, and we are at the Update Promise booth. Now, for those of you who have been watching this, the, the broadcast for the last couple of days and checking out your email updates that are coming to you through the email service. Update Promises are powered by Presenter for NACE, bringing you all the information, the updates, and the video. And they've got just a great product, so we wanted to stop by and share with it because one of the things shops are struggling with right now is your CSI scores and keeping your customers informed. And they've really got a solution for that. And so, guys, thanks for joining me. The NACE floor is just open, and they're starting to pile in here, so I know you guys are going to get busy. Thank you for having Let's talk us. a little bit about customer contact. It's so key. And you guys do a great job of helping with that. And, and, and I'll say this, customer contact in the way the customer wants to be contacted, not in the way we want to do it. Walk me through the product. Okay. Um, well, Dave's the founder, Kurt Nixon president, and uh, it really founded right out of Dave's shop. Uh, Dave had a experience where he needed to bring customer communication to his own customers. And we just brought it together from there. Dave, you want to you know, show where it started yeah, from? Yeah, one of the things that's really important is that customers want attention without interruption. You know, they're getting phone calls from many different services, anything from food purchasing to clothing to what have you, and then you add the body shop element on top of it, and they're getting inundated with stuff. So communicating to a customer with the way that Update Promise promotes communication through text message and email, you know, they're getting messages on their own terms. It's an intimate tool for communication and, and, and customers are tapping into it and enjoying the Update Promise Network and enjoying the, the status updates that come from the uh, body shops themselves. In return, shop owners and managers and estimators throughout the condition and repair industry uh, enjoy the the uh, uh, less, you know, or the reduced inbound calls that are coming in and outbound phone calls that have to go out, and uh, customer satisfaction is on the rise. And right. Update Promise has a lot to do with uh, contributing to that, alongside with working in a fellowship with the body shops themselves. And I think that's so critical because I know I used to do focus groups with repair with insureds after they had had maybe a DRP repair experience, and one of their pain points was how many people do I have to talk to? Maybe there's like a couple of claims adjusters involved. There's the body shop. There's the rental car, and they feel like they're so over overwhelmed with information, but not really informed. And, and so many people ask to be communicated on their terms, which is email and texting. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just a great service. Now, you guys have been around for a while, you're not new, and yeah. you've got a lot of people on the program and using it. What's some of the feedbacks the shops have given you since implementing this form of communication to their customers? Number one, ease of use. I mean, you know, uh, when you when you put a new software product out on the market, the first thing people think is not another software. Right. Update Promise is not another software. It's designed and was and, and, uh, the intention of Update Promise was to work behind the scenes, be an invisible product. That's what people are not seeing today. You know, right. it is invisible, but they they uh, they see the results. So it's kind of nice to uh, to be a part of that team that uh, can have a, something run behind the scenes, something that's very easy to use and gives powerful results. So the product would communicate with a shop's management system, estimating system. We have a direct interface with uh, repair center CCC one, um, and one of the new features is we're able to have the connection with the insurance carriers. So insurance carriers can get a window directly into what's going on with the customer, what the feedback is from the customer. And if there's any questions or concerns, they can actually communicate directly to the shop. Uh, so we're actually linking the estimators and the uh, adjusters together. So we're eliminating the need for the phone call. So a lot of the incoming calls to the shops have actually cut down. You know, what do you want? You want new business coming into the shop. The right. phone calls that you're chasing be new business and electronically we can eliminate the calls coming into the shop. Right. Well, I think it's a great feature and I know in the insurance industry we, we'd like to do emails, we'd like to do a lot of texting, but unfortunately we, sometimes we have some communication policies that prevent that, especially from call center type atmospheres. They're not sitting there with cell phones, right? So having that integrate with the adjuster to the estimator and then directly back to the customer, it's got to be a great tool for the insurers as well. So I'm sure you're getting a lot of great feedback there. They're, they're really coming on board. We didn't really go after the insurance carriers or initially we started showing up the results on the shop CSI. So then they came to us and started inquiring, what's going on? Uh, what's happening? What's this tool that you're using that's improving our customers' communication and, and their feeling of being in touch with their car? As a result, they started engaging with us, and it's going really well. We're, we're very happy with it. All right, well, I, I know that I can't do anything without texting. I always tell people, just don't call me. Text me because you know my voicemail fills up but text me you're probably going to get an answer and i think customers are just like me yeah. so they're looking for the same thing i was walking through the show and watching everybody just kind of walk through and bumping into each other as they're yeah. texting and uh, you know that's kind of the joke of our business is you know everyone's looking at their phone and that's what we're servicing you hit it on the nose proactive communication 
serving the customer the way that they want to be communicated with. That's what they're dealing with. Right. From the older generation to the younger generation, you know, we we thought in certain areas it would, you know, wouldn't fit. Come to find out, they're communicating with their grandkids, you know, through texting. Right. So everybody's adapting to the technology. Today. So well, it's, it's really helped us. I think it's amazing. Keeping the customer informed is the number one thing on most CSI surveys, no matter who the insurer is that's doing the survey for KPIs, or even if you're doing your own CSI surveys. When you ask a customer what went wrong, usually the number one thing they'll go is, is I wasn't kept informed. So if you're looking to improve your CSI, bulk up some of your KPIs for 2012, make a difference in your repair facility, make a customer for life, then communicating with that customer is going to be key to that. And Update Promise has a tool for you. So if you're here at NACE, be sure to stop by the booth and visit. But if you're not at NACE, you can always drop by the website, sign up for the free trial, and just give the product a test run. I promise you it's going to change the way your customers do business with you. So guys, I appreciate the time. Thanks, Kristen. Thanks for really stopping by. It. I really Thank enjoy you, the product. So impressed. Thank you very and stay much. tuned to NACE. We're going to come back with some more visits from some, from some booths on the NACE floor. Thanks.